That's what the bottom of the hot tub looks like. Ooh, the snow has stopped. What's up, guys? We got B Rat. Rat. Hey. Don't worry about it. Anyways, we're down here poolside, and uh, we've never done a hate comments video, so we've called fans. That was a few years ago. We should start doing that again. But uh, for now, today, we're doing hate comments video. We figured the acoustics in here were so good. Brett, give us an echo. Oh! Yeah, so that's how it's gonna go. Anyways, we hung out at Ford today. We were getting an oil change and we went through comments from basically the last four years. So it was tricky to find all the comments and there's surprisingly not as many hate comments as I thought, but we went in, we searched and we found and there's some good ones. A lot of the same ones, similar, but... The very few hate comments have cut deep. So yeah. It seems like there's so many. The reasons that Brett cries himself to sleep overnight. People hating Mark. <laughs> it's not anyway. his fault he's got red hair. <laughs> I was born this way. All right, so I'll set up the camera here. See if I can get her in the old tripod. Yeah, perfect. Brett, you want to sit in your chair? Well, how do you get that chair? That's my chair. I'm computer side. <laughs> there you go. Just figured they made laptops so easy. Brett's drinking pure vodka today, so he has excellent meat. All right, we're good to go. <clears throat> Brett, would you like to say anything before we begin? I wish there was more hate. In <laughs> There's the world more hate today. today. Uh, I apologize for the swearing. Uh, usually we don't try to swear too much in the videos, but 99% of these comments have swearing. But it's not us saying, it's them saying. It. Yeah. So it's their so fault. Get mad at them. We will, you know, try... Demonetize them. We will try and take out a few words, like if we're reading something, we might just not say the word, you know. Sometimes there's the R word, or the N word, or the C word, or... F words are cool. F words, yeah. That's just standard nowadays. This is 1948. Yeah. All right, you wanna start? First comment. Um, ben Brindle, he should, he should be dragged into the street, beaten with a stick and shot, poor sled. Yeah. So I think that was from the Easy Sled Unload video. Yeah, one year ago. Um, was that one year ago? No, the comments. Oh, the comments one year ago, yeah. Um, as you guys, probably most of you have seen the easy sled unload where we, um, well, we, we tried to do the easy quad load, unload, and that worked well. So we're like, oh, let's try with the sled. And, you know, it was very unplanned. Not even close. And it ended up doing a front flip. And uh, actually, there wasn't much damage. Everyone was like, oh, it's written off, blah, blah, blah. So actually, it only broke the tail light and like a few other minor plastic parts. It cost me 200 bucks. Video made a lot more than that, so. Decent returns. Yeah, good returns. A lot of people don't realize the return you get on a YouTube video. Yeah. So we'll get more into it in a bit as we get deeper into the comments, but yeah. Like some movies cost a hundred million dollars to make. <laughs> they blow up a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, all the Fast and the Furious movies, they have brand new vehicles. Yeah. That they probably dump another hundred grand into and then they explode them. I wish we could be in Fast and Furious. For how many cars you jump? Uh, all right. Gas, bass, ass, and brass. Rich people amaze me how stupid they can be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, stupid enough to make money off crashing cars. Yeah, so I went to two film schools actually, and I didn't want to become a director or anything. I wanted to do my own thing, so Brett stopped playing with the hand. <laughs> so I decided to become <laughs> I decided to become a YouTuber, and uh, you know it's been a roller coaster up and down, and now I have 1,700 videos. But um, yeah, obviously I live in a big house and we have lots of acreage. But it's funny because all my friends do the same stuff, and a lot of people, a lot of you guys, all your friends do the same stuff. Of, yeah, I've seen some of your videos too. Everyone does the same stuff, but I'm the one that records it and puts it on the internet for the whole world to see. Like. If you go on anyone's Snapchat stories nowadays, it's like half the stuff we do isn't even half as crazy as other people do. Yeah, there's a lot so. of kids out there 
going bigger, faster, better, richer, stupider. <laughs> richer. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you got next? Paul Yurek, total idiot. Good one. I think it's talking to you. one of my favorites. Yeah, that was two years ago, so he's grown up now. Billy Jackson, dumbass, you should have pulled the engine and sold it instead of destroying it. Care to oh. expand? In these economic times. That's all you got? Can't be pulling engines every day. No, I don't think people realize that all these cars we get are either free from the scrapyard, they're on their way to getting crushed into a little cube. They got one run left in. Yeah, they usually have 10, 15 minutes left and then they're screwed. Like, I've gotten cars here that we haven't even actually posted and they made it off the trailer and then I just pushed them right back on the trailer and took yeah. them back to the scrap there because they're pooch. But um, usually I'll try and go on uh, Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace and find cheap cars. And um, it's weird because people want like a thousand bucks, but these cars are literally just worth scrap value, you know, because... They know that as soon as you get in it, you've probably got 10, 20 minutes left in it. Yeah. And then the train is going to go. And everyone always says, oh, you know, some poor teenager family could have used this as a, their vehicle. It's like, well. It would be a disservice to give it to them because it would cost you $5,000 to put on the road. Minimum, you know, to change the transmission or fix half that stuff. It's like, Even windshield wipers are looked at for a safety. <laughs> yeah, like you gotta have this thing good to go for a reputable shop. Especially in Ontario. Oh yeah. Like they don't they don't screw around here. It's not like some of the states where you know as long as the engine turns on, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> safety. What's a safety these days? Uh, Martin Kush. Hopefully, everyone who has a shirt dies in them. Aggressive. A shirt. A shirt. You don't have a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I think Martin so like really three people are gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sherps are you guys obviously know what they are. We, uh, very we're specific in... kind of hate. Yeah, that was very. That is some Sherp hate. This right guy's now. like Hitler, but like the next level. Like he's he's Sherpler. Sherpler. He's narrowing it down hard. Like how many <laughs> Sherps are out there? I don't know. There's not many in Canada. A couple, four or five. Yeah. <laughs> that we know of. Um, it's really hitting. Them. Yeah, obviously Sherps are pretty new. There's not a ton of them. When I was out in Saskatchewan there. Short for Sherpa. Sherpa. If anyone doesn't know. What's a Sherpa? A guy. A guy that carries Is helps that you only stuff maybe? up Mount Everest. Yeah, but doesn't get the picture. He <laughs> takes the picture. He takes the picture. <laughs> He's never been in the picture. Back down, doesn't. 18 times a year. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? I did have Everest probably uh, at least six times this year. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Uh, and they probably got paid not much. No, 78 bucks a trip. But yeah, that is some sure pay. Like, yeah. I get it. You know, some guys buy Lamborghinis. Some guys buy $100,000 trucks and puts another fifty, hundred grand into lifting them and chrome them and custom everything. And some people just buy Sherps and take them off road. And especially up in Saskatchewan there where there's, it's just swamp life. Yeah. I am quite impressed by them. They, they're deaf. Did I? What did I say? Impressed. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed with them, but they're definitely overpriced for sure. But understandable, it's not like they're mass produced, right? Yeah, it's a lot of recoup into the R and D money that gets collected. All the Russian R and D. Yeah, it was probably built on vodka anyway. Krusty McDoubles, couple of real homos. Done with us? I don't know. It's funny as we went through the comments from the last four years, like. Four years ago, comments were like a paragraph and like people had like three day discussions going. Now it's just like no one, development. Yeah, no development, one word, yeah. two words, whatever. Like, I don't understand it. Like, bring back something interesting yeah. we can read. Get some creativity in your hate. I can't even respond to that. There's no response. Invent new words. Yeah. I do like his, his name though. Krusty McDonald's. That was pretty good. I, I, I think of Krusty the Clown from the Simpsons. I wish we could have been friends. <laughs> he probably is your friend. Who knows? <laughs> uh, Tyler Ingleston, I'd quit if my YouTube channel was as small as yours after 11 years. Ooh. Ooh. Um, 
Well, yeah, I did start my channel 11 years ago, 2007. How I, long has he been on YouTube? He's still around. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that, was, that was a few days ago. Um, I didn't actually like really get hard into YouTube until 2009. So almost 10 years ago, nine, 10 years. And uh, people don't understand, like, there's channels that get 100,000 views on new videos, great. But then like their old videos don't get any views anymore or they only have 100 v videos on there they don't get many views i have 1700 videos now so yeah i may get five ten thousand on my new videos but then those five ten thousand people go and watch five more videos and there's 50 to 100 thousand more views so it's so hard to explain that over and over and over again but yeah. it's just so funny because it's like yeah sweet you know, I may not get as many views as I have subscribers, and I know I've never bought subscribers or anything, they're all real. I'm sure, you know, some of them, obviously, a lot of them aren't there anymore. Because if you were paying for subscribers, you're paying the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, the paycheck's still coming through, and I'm still buying toys, so. I think we need to follow up with this. This guy, we check it in about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, if he's still on YouTube check that. and has, has a, you know, 78 followers, then Tyler Engelston, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> a liar. Uh, Zach Frey, if you watch this crap, get a life. I remember this one had that's some... Just a, that's against you people. <laughs> he hates you people. Yeah, he doesn't hate us, he hates you. He's like, click on... I Let's wish I could make that bigger. Spam this kid. <laughs> Everybody. Well, I remember there was a good discussion on this. I think people just ripped him apart. Yeah. I still can't believe the comments from a couple years ago. Like, the discussions were, like, days long. Like, people took time off work to really get into it. This guy just attacked 300,000 people with eight words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you counted that. That's good math. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Do you want to read this one? It's jackasses like you that give liberal politicians a case. <laughs> if you don't know how to be safe around dangerous things, then leave them alone. Wow. Ugh. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I grew up blowing up stuff. You know, obviously it's not a safe thing to do. No. Um, I'm guessing this is from the Beaver Dam video. Let's get good at it. We did have a... Um, what do you call him? A licensed blaster there? One of the guys that was with us. Um, yeah, obviously we've never blown up a beaver dam. Some things happen. We were protected behind the shirt. Needed the blaster. stupid shirt that apparently we were supposed to die in. And uh, yeah, beaver dam needed blasted. It uh, flooded the field where the cows, the cattle roam. Where all your Saskatchewan beef comes from. So mm -hmm. yeah, beaver dam. I'm sure they rebuilt it literally probably within a couple of days, so. Yeah. They're um, obviously, a lot of these people that comment are probably have never even left the city <laughs> or their basement. And I'm not a beaverologist or anything, but I'm imagining the amount of rummaging around on top of it while you're putting the <laughs> explosives in it. The thing's long gone. <laughs> Beavers don't live in dams. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it was in the video, but Beaver House was actually probably 500 feet away. Exactly. This thing's not sticking around when you yeah. got drilling holes in it. There's no like dam. holes you can get into the dam because that would obviously just make it weaker. It's just sticks and mud and rocks. That's it. We blew a hole in it. Or we're wrong. If you know some of the beavers, leave a comment. Yeah. And there was actually two or three more beaver dams downstream, so <clears throat> the water didn't even reach the road. I would like a little more links to to scientific facts and comments. If you're so sure of yourselves out there. You're gonna get a hundred DMs next week of people so like to show. You're so sure of yourself and your your opinion and your take on this. Give me some links. I'll look it up. <laughs> I'll Wikipedia that. I'm laid off. I got uh, Dennis Woods, just a bunch of moron rednecks with explosives, not even on their own property. These morons need to be locked up and tried as Canadian terrorists, then see how they act. No common sense whatsoever. Aye. Hey. How do you say that? Aye. Exclamation. He's a pirate. <laughs> He's a pirate. <laughs> uh, tried as Canadian terrorists. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't try terrorists in Canada. We give them money. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we bought Tannerite legally from the store. And Tannerite store. Yeah, from Cabela's, and I don't see the issue here. It's not like we're using it in a public place. We were literally probably 10 miles from the closest house. So didn't, I love reading the hate comments. Didn't buy that. like a 9-11 amount of it. That raises some red flags. Yeah, no red flags were raised. So yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen the other Tannerite videos on YouTube. <laughs> But they're pretty aggressive. I think one that guy did like 200 pounds or something. Yeah, it blew up a whole barn. The barn was cool. Someone told me he got charged for that, but, you know, that's probably just the internet talking again. Probably had it insured. <laughs> yeah, insured for it. Or when they blew up the, the bin on top of the hill, that was pretty cool. It turned into like tin foil. Bin foil. New word, ready to go. Someone used bin foil in the comments. Hashtag bin foil. Mike Hanley, please do not reproduce. The world has enough idiots. <laughs> I think that was a redhead hate. I think that was. That was, that, that, was a, that was a full on dad comment to his son. Yeah. Like, all right, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Even worse. Uh, I love Anger it. goes away. Disappointment lasts. <laughs> That's why Brett has gray hair. Yeah, it's kind of uh, disappointed a lot of people. You guys are crazy and dumb as stumps. Good. It's like half hate, medium hate. Yeah. A little love, a little hate. Can you read that guy's name? I feel like all these people are actually impressed. Because <clears throat> you did search the video. Like, were you just trying to search the video to draw? Like, they probably went and put a hate on it. Yeah, some of these comments are from like a week ago on a video from four years ago. Yeah. What are you people doing? Yeah. I hope you watched 1,700 videos that day. <laughs> uh, Finn Finney. Finn Finney. Can we say stupid? Please do not breed. <laughs> the answer is yes, you can say stupid. Say it all you want. Dinner, church, bat mitzvahs. I'll breed if I want to. Say stupid wherever you want. So to answer that question, Finn Finney, you can't <laughs> say stupid. Uh, oh, Michael Finnegan. Idiots, thank. I once knew a guy. I feel Michael like Finnegan. Really? <laughs> No, I feel it's like a song. Oh. He grew fat and then grew thin again. <laughs> Idiots, thanks for making outdoorsmen and gun owners look bad. They sell this stuff at the gun shop. Like, I'm pretty sure, sure everyone I know with guns has shot tannerite and has shot an aggressive amount of tannerite to either blow up, you know, a dam, a tree, someone's old fridge, mm -hmm. probably a car at some point. Like, we're not making them look bad. They do all the same. I don't know if you guys know any gun owners or hunters, but they all do the same stuff. Mm -hmm. They just, well, it's starting to be posted on the internet, but, you know, 10 years ago, they were blown up. But they got jobs and don't want to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't fire me. Uh, Justin Daniel. It would be, it would have provided justice for the beavers if a log went through your face. Aggressive. First of all, that's just... That's stupid. It's a log. Tannerite's not moving a lot. Yeah. Only rocks flew at us. Not with that kind of accuracy. <laughs> not with that attitude. Um, apparently there's a lot of comments from the Beaver Dam thing. Mm -hmm. I think it was only like a tenth hate comments and then like... like I, I grew up in the country. Everyone hates beavers. Yeah. Beavers just ruin shit. I don't think I know anyone that likes beavers. No, what they do. They just dam everything. They flood everything. Like Gotta they go. Know. Houses will probably get flooded. And... No. Hunters hate them too because they flood everything. Then the woods where they hunt, those are all flooded after. Mm -hmm. So um, most hunters shoot beavers. Slapping tails I, around. I, I hate to say that, but everyone that commented on that video that were hunters say, did you shoot the beavers? Well, we did not. So... We wanted to give them some work for because they were getting bored. They needed some work to do. Maybe they like it. Yeah, maybe it doesn't like a tenor and explosion. Maybe they found more for beaver tube. Maybe we built the dam. You don't know this. I think beaver tube's a porn site. You don't know me. Beaver tube's <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> uh, Google that when it's over eighteen. This guy's sub thing is don't sub. Idiots should not have explosives or cameras. But what would be the fun in that? Well, he that definitely enjoyed the video. He watched it, or he or she. Internet wouldn't exist. Yeah, the whole internet is basically it's explosives and idiots with cameras. Yeah, 
Have you seen the Instagram explore page now? It's literally people trying to one-up other people. Mm-hmm. Like... Idiots. Yeah. I've, I don't even know. That, that could just be a general observation. It might not even be at, at you. True. True. You just want... It's a good forum. Remember? Want people see it. Remember the backpack challenge? It's like a year or two ago. It was on Instagram for a bit, but kids would sprint down a hallway yeah. to school and everyone would take their heavy ass backpacks and throw them at them. Yeah. And they had to see if they could make it down the whole hallway without wiping it. And these kids would like, guarantee there were some broken noses. Concussions. Concussions, because I know those floors are solid. Yeah. But yeah, people just come up with the dumbest stuff. People come up with some pretty cool stuff, but there's a lot of dumb stuff that happens. Like, just follow the freaking little bar school. Yeah. They post some aggressive stuff. Especially these college kids nowadays. No yeah. morals. I'm just gonna jump off my three and a half story house onto a table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the buffalo people. In the middle of a perfectly good flip cup game. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining it for everybody. Uh, Chico Checo Montanaro. Warning, amateur, rich morons at work. Yeah. I wouldn't even know if he called us amateur anymore. We've been doing this for like 10 years. Get and paid for paid it. paid for Yeah. It. So. I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but you come up with some pretty good ideas. The morals at work. We'll take that. <laughs> uh, One of three. Low IQ. Very standard. Um... Pro performance nutrition. I love watching rich people destroy expensive things. I get to see what happens and don't have to pay the bill. Comes back to, you know, the YouTube video. Like, for destroy, destroying cars, for example. You know, you destroy it. Sometimes I only pay 200 bucks for these things. The video makes $1,000. Take it back to the scrapyard, you get two or 300 bucks out of it. You know, you can rip the cat off and battery and make an extra 100 bucks. Like, Every time I destroy something, I usually triple my money off it. There you go. Yeah. And then we could buy a new transmission for it and give it to they're not some worth poor anything. pregnant chick. Yeah. They're literally not even we worth need a transmission. scrap. They are. One question, why? <laughs> An Ozark outlaw. That was right a, away. Yeah, that's a good no, exactly what good reply. Doing. I love when you guys reply to people's comments. Like, I may not always like them or respond, but we I them. we read those comments all day. That's why I always say comment on the videos, because even if it's good or bad, I love reading the comments. And it'll set s- each other straight out there. Yeah, sometimes Down we'll there. sit around the dinner table and we'll just read comments and it's just so funny. And Ozark Outlaw came in. Came in half the hour. ring. <laughs> Because they're a bunch of rich FTs. FTs. John Smith. I know John Smith. A couple of them. Actually, real John Smith. Um, bunch of rich little city boys, first time putting anything in their pretty little city truck, uh, only watching for Peter. Who's this Peter guy? Uh, Parker. Um, I know John Smith. Pocahontas is probably in trouble. <laughs> What are you doing on YouTube? Uh, I haven't lived in the city since I was four years old. I've lived out in the country for a long time. I used to shovel pig shit. I used to ship pigs. I used to shovel horse shit. Probably other shit. <laughs> yeah. My own shit. Um, yeah, I've lived in the country for a long time. You know, we have a big house and whatever, but uh, we definitely still do all the farm stuff. So. Basically like bubble gum with shit. You knew everything uh, there is to know about the shit business. Yeah, I know how to do all the farm stuff. I've even, want to hear my top farm story? I pulled a baby cow out of the cow's vagina. Out of a whole other cow. <laughs> <laughs> what up? It was like a duplicate cow. And like those Russian dolls. Yeah, it had a winch and everything. I had to reach in, put a chain on it. It was weird. Put them in reverse. And freaking winch that thing out. And that's, that's my farm story. So... I, we used to neuter pigs. That was an interesting one. Cutting their pig testicles off. It's an interesting. A lot of people don't know what goes on at farms. Yeah. There's some gross stuff that happens oh, on yeah. farms. Anyways, carry on. Genitals. I actually know it's really when they, um, when they burn the horns off goats. Oh, yeah. Dehorning. That is the worst smell I've ever smelled. 
everyone smells like manure. And like, I don't even notice it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, spread manure for a couple days, who cares? Liquid. Um, just in time. What a D-bag. Just in time. How does this dude have a girl when he acts like one? Never seen someone whine so much over a little dirt and act like it kills them to help her a little. <laughs> you know, I only do Amber's strong, independent woman <laughs> doesn't need help from Mark. <laughs> uh, and you know I only do the stuff to get you guys going, right? Like, half the time, I'll call something by the wrong name just to see if it starts a fire in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. And I can't believe he has a girl. It's not hard. Yeah, there's like a, more of them out there than us. Yeah. At least I'm in a relationship. There's girls uh, everywhere. Just go outside. Yeah. It's like they're blowing the wind. It's like the guys... At the end of the night at the bar. <laughs> you ask enough of them, one will go home. You just gotta keep... You just wait at the front door. Going down the line. Uh, carry on. Dude, can I borrow some money? Obviously you're rich. I get this comment or a DM probably seven times a week. It's tied up. Yeah. Cash poor. <laughs> it's funny because most people with a lot of money that you talk to don't actually have, like they have money, but it's tied up. I'm not liquid. <laughs> it's not like, that's how people make more money. You have to reinvest in stuff. That's why with YouTube, I thought there was a horse walking by. That was really weird. I think I'm tripping out. Um, with YouTube, you have to keep reinvesting yourself. So like probably 70% of my YouTube check just goes back into YouTube. And you know, we buy dumb stuff, load up, but buy new toys. And like, I just reinvest. In Crazy stuff thing though. Time. You get to have fun while doing it. Yeah. It's like people spending $1,800 on those concert tickets now. It's ridiculous. You don't get any money back from that. And you get a two hour show. Sweet. Yeah. We get to blow stuff up. Yeah. It's like all these guys buying Lambos, like 90% of them don't post any videos, but the guys that do pretty much paid, have probably paid for the Lambos from the YouTube videos, like Daily German Exotics. He just wanted to do it for fun. And now he's probably gonna buy another Lambo. He's got Lambo money. Yeah, Lambo money. Huh, Bob Booger. Damn rich kids, look at the huge mansion in the background. They can afford to trash this machine. Just get another one, must be nice. Must be nice, Brett. It must be nice, it I don't know. Nice. I'm uh, with you, Bob Bugger. It's funny because like, yeah, we broke some stuff. Uh, and you know, I had to pay for, to fix it, but. Have you ever gone to a racing circuit and watched quads or bikes or like race cars go flying? Everything written off. All the time. Yeah. If you've ever raced, you know how much that costs. And when I was racing, it cost 10 times as much to race than what I do now. That's why I decided to go a YouTube route because it was cheaper. I got to ride more and I wasn't completely destroying my stuff every weekend. I was just like kind of destroying. And as anyone that's ever race for any amount of time knows this shit makes you so much more money than yeah. racing. Unless you're like Travis Pastrana. Yeah, there's like Dungy, 17 guys. Bill Apollo, yeah. Those top guys make money, but even like the top guys, top racers, like, well, at least motocross racers, they're not like super rich. I don't know what the sponsorship side of people's deals are, obviously, because that's... Everyone's different. Everyone's deal's different, but... If you, especially in Canada, if you want perfect season, 450, it's $14,000 prize money. That's it. And what's it take to be Colton Fasciati? Yeah. A couple alone. million dollars? His bike alone is <laughs> probably worth 20 grand. <laughs> more, who knows? Uh, yeah, when I was racing, I was just racing a stock bike with some shocks on it. The guy, half the guys I was racing with would dump like five, 10 grand alone just into their engine, so. Blow up a car too. Yeah, it's cheaper just to blow up a car or unload your quad out of the back of your truck. And we get to ride too. Contracts. Yeah, I just like it because we get to ride more often. Hell, I'd say probably even have more fun than factory riders. Oh, it's way too stressful. Yeah, how stressful what we do. Well, sometimes if something lights on fire, go through a fence. Going for the fence is stressful. <laughs> Big Ronda! Rich people it. are the ones the government needs to be shooting from their choppers and hotels. Ooh. That's aggressive. How many choppers and hotels does the government have? Yeah. Big Ronda. Government owned hotels. Who do you think you are? 
Big Ronda. Where do you get off? Prove it. Prove it. How big are you, Ronda? Uh. Uh. Dre, Dre Dog? The words idiot, juvenile, stupid, moronic, dickheads come to mind. Brett's not a dickhead. He's a great guy. No. His hairstyle hasn't changed in 10 years, but it's fine. Why change it? Yeah. Why well, fix what's not broke, right? Yeah. <laughs> Keeps growing. Keep cutting it. Have you yeah. changed your lawn style in 10 years? No. no. Just keep cutting it. Keeps growing. Every year we like to go quarter inch, quarter inch. Yeah, you know, an inch is a lot if you don't have it. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Mike McCullough, what a effing idiot. More money than brains, I tell you. Like, we're talking physical amount? Because, like, it doesn't <laughs> take much money to be bigger than a brain. No. Uh, there's so many people out there that have a dirt bike that, and an iPhone. Like, it doesn't take much to do what we do. You just need a camera or a phone, and everyone's phone has a camera in it now. Yeah, even and fun phones. It's pretty easy to edit. You can just download a program on your phone now to make YouTube videos. And Amazing. yeah. Doesn't you know you know how many just toys I've paid for by just riding the other toys? That's why I bought the Maverick. <laughs> Pays for itself. Yeah. Uh, D four by four Brock. Mm -hmm. Quit taking the new truck in the mud, you money idiot. You're a money idiot. Money idiot? I'm an idiot? Uh, That's my new favorite. Yeah, this whole thing. I like to trade my truck in every year now because uh, I had a truck a few years back and I kept it to 200,000 kilometers and well by the end it wasn't worth much. It was worth like a tenth of what I bought it for and yeah. had no warranty and it was costing me more a month to fix that truck than it was to just finance a brand new platinum. Yeah, if, you, if anyone out there has a problem with the new trucks and doesn't know the truck situation right now, just Google it. Yeah, so the way the American dollar works, basically... They're buying all, the, all our six-month-old trucks for yeah. top dollars. So if I buy a new truck and trade it in a year, the Americans just buy it right up right away. So it literally... Payment stays the same. Every time I buy a new truck, it actually gets cheaper to buy a new truck every year. I don't know how it works, but somehow they've got it all figured out. Magic. Yeah. Truck magic. So. But yeah, it's for the YouTube videos. If I want to take my platinum in the mud, I'll take the platinum in the mud. It's got warranty. If something breaks, they'll fix Maybe it. Maybe he's trying to call you a muddy idiot. Muddy idiot? Yeah. No. Carry on. <sighs> Kiko Rubes. Why he destroy a drivable car? Idiot? Question mark. Answers no. Have you ever driven around like the city, or like you know a little rougher part of the city, or even in the country? Like, half these people have five cars that are laying around just rotting in their driveway. Yeah. And we're the guys that just come, yes. you know, give those people a bit of cash so they can eat or whatever. Cigarettes and lottery tickets. Yeah. <laughs> There's what they're buying. Milk cigarettes and... Uh, so, again, back to the safety thing. You Just because a car drives doesn't mean it's capable Drivable. of passing a safety... And going on the street. Just making sure this thing's still going. Yeah. The camera's just been off this whole time. <laughs> it's happened before. Get the security footage. Uh, uh, yeah, like we just take these cars. Most people will just, people will actually make a living just going and taking those cars and giving them 200 bucks and then selling them for 400 at the scrapyard. Even just, just, you, any haters out there, take the vehicle you drive right now into a shop and get a safety gun on it. Yeah. They will rhyme off. $2,000 worth of stuff you'd need. Yeah. But since you don't have to do it, safety, you don't have to do it. These cars wouldn't pass that. We're just taking these cars, having a few minutes of fun with them, and then sending them to heaven. Car heaven. And then just crush them into a little block or they grind them up and... and they'll become a Rockstar <laughs> Energy can or something. Yeah. Jesse D. <clears throat> Doesn't cold start well, gets in, and as soon as it starts, revs the piss out of it. Haha, <laughs> no wonder four drivers are idiots. Oh, I remember this one. This is yeah, from. Yeah, against you. He's he's mad at you people. This is from last winter when I took my truck and held it wide open to the field. To start, my truck was already warmed up. Half the time when we do a video and we start things up, the vehicle's already warmed up. Like we do this. We do it all day. Yeah, we we do this just to stir you guys up. Um, oh, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every time my Ford doesn't start, is because I had my foot on the gas. Obviously, a brand new Ford isn't gonna do. I'm sure one in, you know, 
100,000 might do it, but they're not going to post that on the internet, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, for safety. Yeah. And it's got warranty. Who gives a shit? If I, I honestly hope the turbo goes in my truck or I blow a tranny or engine or something because then that would make for a great video. Blowing trannies? There's lots of videos <laughs> of that. <laughs> uh, Bluetooth trannies in the back. Truck's fine though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Google that. Do not Google that. <laughs> Carolyn Pello, rubbish driver. I. I can do better than him and I'm 11, idiot. Well, at least he can spell. First of all, are you on your mom's Google account? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> I think that's for a goon riding video. The goon riding videos, people, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, we're just literally doing that on purpose. Like, normal people, well, some people do actually drive like that, first timers, but yeah. not I. Actually, sometimes I like to drive like that because it's more fun. Someone's good. I like messing around, doing dumb stuff. Uh, Phil D's. Uh, where does he get his money to buy so much shit? Daddy? Question mark. You want to talk about that? I haven't seen Rob pay for anything. When I was growing up, obviously my parents paid for stuff, but everyone's parents pay for stuff when they're growing up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you know, as I got older, I just took over, I just paid for stuff. I don't see the problem here, but you know. How makes this guy pay rent? Yeah, I pay rent to live here. He pinches pennies harder than that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh well. Uh, oh, big way, big one. Checkmate. It's always fun to watch a couple of dorky kids put on their Ricky Racer outfits and deliberately destroy a couple of formerly decent transportation vehicles. Formerly decent. Formerly. I think this was for the minivan jump. Hopefully you'll grow up someday and learn how to fix stuff rather than destroy it. Of course, that takes some actual intelligence. <laughs> Why do you want to fix an old beat up minivan that smells like cigarettes and probably has stains all over it? Hey, Ned Flanders. Oh my God, you should see some of these cars they, I get. I'm like, I would like to see like just a quick 30 second preview of the people that lived or had this car before it. Like, Pretty sure it was a family of possums. <laughs> yeah, smoking two packs a day, like coffee stains everywhere. Yeah, I don't even want to know what these other stains are from, but I've found some pretty nasty stuff in those cars that I don't even want to talk about. And you know, it makes, like when I have a messy truck, I feel pretty good about it because it's not as nasty as those cars. But then I've, found, I've got some pretty nice cars too that people have spent a lot of time keeping clean. Um, just especially the Buicks. The Buicks, you, you can tell only Grandma and Grandpa have owned them. Yeah. And they've always maintained them exactly at their maintenance times. Mm -hmm. And then they light on fire because they're Buicks. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Hurl. No offense, but I am better and quads than you and I'm at. Stay in school, I'm kid. Dylan Hurl. Well, no, he'll be 11 now. He's 11 now? Ago. Yeah. Oh, I think that's for the goon riding. First of all, offense and O. <laughs> I think he thought the goon riding was real. And has a D in it. Freaking grammar police over here. Twice. In Twice. Spell check. Stay in school. Call him. Call his mother. Crashing planes. Not all of us are American. No, idiot Americans. Ooh. Well, we're Canadian. Over 50% of you are. A. Hey. Uh, it's, um, I don't even know what to say that. Like 60%, 60 or 70% of my demographic is American it's just a question. dudes. State? Um, yeah. But we're Canadian. We're, we live in Ontario. Ontario. Most states, Ontario. Yeah, where we have two seasons. Summer and winter. No. JCB. Winter and road construction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, construction. JCB. Uh, JCB. Any what? affiliation with the heavy equipment? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. And why push it on the wheelie bar and scratch it all up? Every scratch is earned not by pushing it across your driveway. Oh, this is really easy quad load. I'm gonna throw some knowledge at you guys real quick. That easy quad load video made $10,000. I couldn't believe it either. And that's American. You didn't even have to break it. And it literally broke nothing. That video paid for that quad. 
And there you have it. I'd say I would have liked that. Real scoop. Yeah. That's how it's done. Got that quad money. That's why we make these videos, because they when they pay, they pay well. I couldn't imagine how much like the big guys are that are getting a million views per video. Yeah. Like I, if I was getting a million views per video, I would probably jump a Lamborghini. And same thing, when, when your stupid friends are doing stupid things, get your phone out. Yeah. Even if you're not doing it, just film it, whatever. Ryan Paquette, oh, this is your favorite comment. You fucking idiot, ginger fuckhead. <laughs> got you good. <laughs> got you, got you good. Got you good, you fucker. Oh, thank you, thank you. Got one like on that one. Yeah, you got one like. So someone else out there. Was that my like? Oh yeah, I liked it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't hide it though. Uh, Dirt Rider 2004, tell you and your Ford to kill yourself. <laughs> oh. I've always been a Ford guy. Um, we've always just had Fords. There's a Ford dealership up the road. That's why I just keep getting a Ford. Like, all trucks are good. They all have their issues. Mm -hmm. so Only question I have is, have you rode since 2004? What have you been doing since then? <laughs> all the other years, before and after. I never know what he's doing. Someone fill us in 2004. Yeah, I don't know. I'll always be a Ford guy. Right, I'll always be a Honda guy. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. The Ford's good. I've never had any issues. Except for that old truck that had 200000 on it. I noticed with trucks, they only start to have issues as soon as the warranty's up. They somehow have a timer in there that as soon as your warranty's done, it's like, BAM! You need this, 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 this. That's why you just get a new truck every year. It's easier. It's like they kept track of this. Yeah. Make it someone else's problem. <clears throat> and then I'm sure 10 years down the road, I'm going to see that Ford again. <laughs> and it's going to be flying off the jump at my house. So. Can you imagine? It's like a boomerang. And it's back. Campbell A. Yeah, quads are for all the little spoilt rich kids who don't do shit and ride around in circles with their $10,000 effing gay mobile. We're so spoilt. Yeah, let's get some grammar on that one. Now you spell it. Oh my god. It's funny because when I was like full-time quad people ripped me apart so bad and then as soon as I like made the transition over to dirt bike people cried so bad and wanted me to go back to the quad it's like I'll never be able to please everyone on the internet yeah. every time I do something it's like hey go back to the old one even the intros like 90% of people love it but everyone those 10% still hate it and it's funny because my daily subscribers have doubled and almost tripled since I started using the new intro. And I will give them this. Pro quad guys are stupid fast on this. Yeah. I think the pro quad guys actually hold like... Fastest lap times at every AMA national track? Yeah. Pretty sure. I know it's flat. It's hard pack. It's not deep ruts like motocross does. Let us know. Someone knows yeah. the answer. Google that. Google it! James, do the world a favor and just kill yourself. Oh, that was six years ago. James, I hope you've grown up and matured since then. I hope you're still a subscriber too. I haven't seen you comment lately, but six years ago. Jeez, Brett was just a baby then. Yeah. Uh, Dirt God, 644, you guys are stupid. I liked him, thumbs up that one. Nailed it. <laughs> Prime time. Uh, Lynn Dempsey, stupid. Dumb ass motherfuckers. I wonder if it was some kid on his mom's yeah. Google account again. Now Lynn's gonna go use this. I'm gonna email Lynn and be Lynn. like, Do you know your son? We need to talk. Yeah, about this is four days ago. Four days ago. Come on, Lynn. You're better than that. Scotty Boggs, are you telling me you jokers have a pal to buy ammo with? Good demonstration, lol. Wish I had time to do stupid shit like this. Yeah. Uh, we do have a pal, and it's not hard to get. I'm um, pretty sure you can get it in someone's garage. It's kind of like a truck driver's license, or a driver's license now in Ontario. Yeah. They give them to anyone. It's like a you snowmobile can... license when you're 12. Yeah, or your boat license. Weekend go, yeah, the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you literally go to like a two-hour course and they just give it to you. It's too easy. I still don't know how they can sell Tannerite so easily. Uh, you're, you're literally selling a bomb. But I mean like, like gas. Yeah. Way more explosive. And like propane. Like, and easier to light. Yeah. Tanner, it's kind of hard. To... Yeah, Tannerite, you do need a high-powered rifle to ignite Tannerite. You can't just hold a lighter up to it, so. 
I guess that's their way of getting away with it. Yeah. But yeah, we literally just walked into a hunting store and they're like, how much tanner are you on? And you're like, all of it. And they're like, okay. And then you walk out and send another guy in and say, how much tanner are you on? <laughs> all, all you'll give me. Yeah, as much as you'll give me. Uh, what do we got next? Big Wayne. That's, that's a weird way to spell Wayne. These stupid Quaid. Canadian... Quaid. Big Wayne. <laughs> say it. Miracle Wayne. Okay. Say miracle. Cool spit. Oh, cool one. Uh, these stupid Canadians with their play money. That's all it is up here. Yeah, they make new money every day. You might as well make it. We just got our, turn it into, our monopoly money. Yeah. Canada's just a big backyard. It's stupid. <laughs> you might as well just reinvest in yourself and make videos on the internet and take that $100 and turn it into $1,000 and then go buy more Tannerite or a dirt bike and... And jump that it. and explode it and then, and then after taxes we got like a hundred and fifteen dollars <laughs> oh taxes uh dray dog again oh we read this one already uh johnny castillo why americans are so stupid i think that's castillo castillo i want to say castello yeah. <laughs> uh, once again we're canadian hey if you haven't been able to tell by the accent or the snow. And we do have microwaves in Canada. And we don't live in igloos. We got them. And our beer is better and stronger. I've had microwaves for like and, 14 years. And twice as expensive <laughs> as yours. Uh, at least it doesn't taste like water. Evan Lindgren, your channel is stupid. You got a stupid face. God, you good. <laughs> good. Two months ago, wow. Evan, regroup. <laughs> Come back. Learn some later. new words. Yeah. Come back and we'll talk. Let's do another one. Tim Gilman. Stupid, those are beautiful cars. How could you do that? You know, we'll beat this one to death. We get a lot of crappy cars, I'm not gonna lie. But the last or this year, we got some pretty decent ones. But the Acadia's drawn a lot of hate. Yeah, the Acadia's drawn a lot. We did jump a BMW. That one cost me 500 bucks, but I easily made it back. The Mercedes, I honestly wish I would have kept it. The, the guy gave it to me for so cheap, and the only reason was because he wanted to see it jumped. It was his baby for a few years, and a lot of these cars people are, get so attached to, and they don't want to take them to scrap. They want to see one last shebang, and they want to see that thing fly. So I say, you know what? I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna do that for you, so. You know, I don't want to jump some of these cars. Some of them would be nice to keep around. Make a wish. But, you know, if someone asked me to do that, I'm going to do it, so. And, like, technically, everyone's dying. That was this guy's dying wish. I don't think he was dying, but... Well, everyone's down. Everyone's everyone not dying. Eventually. <laughs> you could say that. I just realized I have an American flag on my shoulder. Or my arm. Mm -hmm. Canadian flag, so... Uh, David Pinto, hope you die in one of those cars. Thank you. Like die, like going off the jump or like just have a heart later. attack and just later. <laughs> later in life when I'm 80, 90 years old. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to crawl down there when I'm 90 years old and be like, all right. That's what David Pinto wanted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I wanted my tombstone. That's what David Pinto wanted. Uh, Juarez Rodas. Rodas? Did I say that right? No. <laughs> Why white guys are stupid, seriously? It's a hard one to, hard one to fight. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. You I put a man know. on the moon. <laughs> Wasn't there a song about that? There's probably lots of different ethnicities working on that project. Yeah. I don't know. That goes back to probably looking at like, the trending page on Instagram. Like, Someone Google it. It is literally... It's the whole this? world that is stupid now. I, I swear. It's people... Wheeling down highways in Chicago and lighting stuff on fire and yeah. I'm not sure it's how many white guys. It's all for the gram. It's all for the gram. One shift. Two dumb fucks. Why do you have so many stupid people in your country? He probably thinks we're American too. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said before, it's not just us anymore. It's it's the whole world. Wait, so is he trying to say? Two dumb fucks is too many for a country? Like, is there, are all other countries out there just one dumb fuck? 
Like we're doubling up on two. Everyone's perfect everywhere else. Hey, I don't know. I don't think this guy's been around too, too many countries because we just like to have fun. There's a lot of dumb, dumb efforts out there. It's funny because if I like quit my YouTube channel, all these guys would comment and be like, well, where do you go? Washed uh, up. Uh, well, more. I knew it. Uh, quitter. All the cars were crashed. Sorry. Jackson McClane. Quads are gay. What are they gay with? So is your stock 250F with without even number plates on it. <laughs> Weak. Matt. Matt Barney, your vids suck. Nailed it. <laughs> Two likes. Two likes. Yeah, well, there's three. There's enough. still millions of people watching them, so they must not suck too bad. <laughs> Tim Rick at videos. You guys are just destroying that van for the hell of it. Stupid. No one likes minivans. They're stupid. Yeah. Favorite part about minivans is when you jump them and the doors fall off. Yes. I swear, minivans are dangerous. They're horrible on fuel. Just destroying them. I want all you people to. Hit up some, some Hollywood directors. Ask them how much they spend on cars. Tell them how stupid they are for breaking stuff. <laughs> and actually, minivans are the most disgusting vehicles I get. Yeah, but they are... Dumpster fire. <laughs> it's like someone just threw a dumpster in there. Well, you gotta think, like, weird all these people. babies just puking yeah, shit puking. in them, and then those kids grow up to be drunk little 16-year-olds puking in them again. <laughs> puking and shit in them. We should just title this video Puking and Shitting. Yeah. It'd probably get demonetized. Probably all these comments. Uh, Robert Plant. Idiots. I hope you die. One day. Thanks, Robert. Eventually, when we're old and gray. Your wish will come true. And one day. 1,000 car jumps and hopefully a million subscribers. Robert Plant. Your wish will come we, true. I we promise you that. I Isn't will Robert die. Plant like Zed Zeppelin? Or yeah. yeah. I will die at some point in my life. <sighs> And then on your tombstone, we could say, I got one more. Robert Plant. Else. He probably liked his own comment. Yeah, he looked <laughs> like a... Uh, Robert Pinto. Read that one. Pink Rama Diane. Pink Amina Diane Pie. I hope you... Your name's a disaster. You die for this. Yeah, your name's a disaster. I hope you die for that. You got that. like a unicorn bird as your thumbnail. I hope you die for that name. Uh, get a life. Eric Leroy, hey you fat fuck, you still live at your parents, eh? Well, not fat, actually. Oh, I don't know why people call me fat. Because I know what a fat person looks Camera like. Adds 10 pounds. Yeah, and I'm not fat. There's an app for that. And, uh, yeah, I still live here. I travel a lot, my dad travels a lot. Someone's got to take care of me. I don't see the point in buying a house yet if, you know, you don't live there. No one else is living in this place. And you know thing. what, some of us are investing our money right now. Sometimes you gotta down the road. I'm gonna say, "Wow, I'm glad I invested that money instead of moving out when I was 18 and paid rent for the rest of my life." It's hard. Yeah, it's tough. Look it up. It's tough being a fat fuck. <laughs> Thanks. I've never man. been, but I've seen it. I've <laughs> seen it. <laughs> see it. Yeah, it I tough. I do go to Walmart a lot. Sometimes I don't even buy stuff. Just yeah. I like to cruise and watch. I like to observe. People watch. There's a lot of comments. I didn't realize we screenshot this many. Yeah. Ron J. L. White. Oh, Ron White. Yeah. You know Ron White. Ron White. Hope you blow yourselves up. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I love when a comment ends with fuck off. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> uh, one, two, Q. See sucking loud intro music. Fuck you and your channel. <laughs> and your hair. And your... <laughs> Face. Oh my god. It was funny because when I first started YouTube and I got these comments, it like, it kind of hurt a lot. What's wrong with and, me? You know, my dad would be like, well, you know, you just don't take them so hard. And then one day I just flipped and I'm just like, oh like, my oh, god. Fuck your face. <laughs> yeah, and people would come to me and like, did you read that comment? I'm like, wasn't that hilarious? <laughs> oh, funny. Thanks, 1TQ. Ooh, big one. Renato Perez Cicero Rosas. Cars are not for dump. You're totally ungrateful to the well-service and reliability a car gives. The games you play are not only dangerous, but very stupid. You don't deserve those cars. If you want to dump something, do it yourself, not the cars. Don't tell me how to live your life. You're playing dangerous games out there. Yeah, something. 
Have you ever been to a demo derby? They literally demo. It, it, each other. First of all, it's demo short for demolish if you yeah. didn't know. Those cars were all decent out of time and then they just spray painted them and took the gas tank out. But we had a demo derby this year. I didn't want to do it because I know it hurt. Someone had to do it. Frick, you just get rocked in those cars. Yeah. Like your neck is sore for days after. Yeah, most cars aren't designed to be hit like yeah, that. Because we are ended at 50k. And like, yeah, everyone's like, how more demo derby? I'm like, no. I'm like, you guys didn't have one, but I'll watch because it hurts. That sucks. You know how like everything in the world's been new at some point because it was made? And then it's new, and you get it, and then you have it for a while, and then it's not worth anything anymore. You throw it out. It's kind of like that. You people throw stuff out every day. Yeah, it's like, probably good, perfectly good. So people go and buy food, and then half of it. Apparently, like I don't know what the stat is. Is like thirty or forty percent of food that gets bought just gets thrown out. Yeah, it's crazy. And like you know, people build new houses every day, and then they just tear down their old ones. Like so stuff sold in outrageous portions. You gotta. Have a Family of 17 to use <laughs> yeah, it all before it goes bad. Especially if you shop at Costco. Like, who needs that many freaking donuts? Yeah, I got cream cheese from 2016. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Easy. You're rocking. We're rolling. Uh, thanks for the comment, Renato. Jamie Ponce, you suck and you fuck. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure. Thanks. <laughs> Annie Velen, Velenzuela? Go fuck, go fuck yourself, yeah. bitch. You ruined my childhood. <laughs> I think like you dated her in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh. Annie, hit it up. <laughs> DM me. Rockin' Kid. Oh, this is a big. Do you want to read this one? It's big. I can read. <laughs> can you? Uh, if I ever see any of you out there in the real world, I would do to your face what you did to that car's door. I am, I own, I own an Alero, and it was my late great grandmother's car. And I swear to God, if I ever saw you doing what you did to this Alero to mine, I'd smash your effing skull to the pavement. Seeing what you effing <laughs> do to these beautiful American cars makes my blood boil. So since I can't smash your skull in, I will say one thing right now. F U F C F C's. Do you imagine? Why are you in jail? Oh, someone uh, beat the shit out of an Alero and I Oldsmobile <laughs> Alero. <laughs> and I smashed their skulls to the pavement. Well, how about it's a car. Your kid? My great great grandmother really loved garbage bags. And you throw one of those out every week, so. <laughs> Uh, you know how many smash your face into the uh, pavement. You know how many grandmothers Buicks I got this year and they all lit on fire? Yeah, we did a service. Guys. Grandmothers will be lighting on fire left, right, and center if uh, we can get these things off the road. It's a car. Relax. We made a YouTube video. It was hilarious. It got scrapped. You Thank buried you. your dead grandma in a casket that probably cost 18 times that car's worth. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I made out of good wood that could have been cleaning the planet full of crap. We could have made a new pool room. So, get out of here. Joshua Milo, you're such a fuckboy and your videos such. I regret watching them kill yourself. Nothing more to say really, you hit, hit all the nails on head. <laughs> Thanks Josh. Ooh, another big one, TS46176. Mark Freeman, you effing F <laughs> Effin <laughs> Is there, how can we say this word? Learn how to make an effing video. He says I'm going to rip the door off. Camera cuts away. Doors ripped off. I'm going to jump this van. Camera cuts out as the van hits a ramp. And another thing, why the fuck in this video is this video over 18 minutes long? You can suck on my hairy a-hole, sir. That was a lot of caps for one comment. He said it politely. Yeah, at least he said it politely. Um, relax, guy. You know, we do everything for a reason. Um, and Learn yeah. how to make a video. Go yeah. back to film and, school. And the reason the videos got longer is because YouTube changed and they Made it pay work. you by watch time now. So that's why videos have to be longer. So That's why anyone's video is full of 
blab. Yeah, that's why people talk so much now. Seven you know, I'm not a blab. huge fan of making a short video, and I'm not a huge fan of making a 45-minute video, but you got to mix it up, and sometimes 18 minutes where the stuff happens, especially when you're messing around with cars, because like everything that goes as planned doesn't work. It, everything else happens. Like today, we made a Santa Claus video, and what happened? We ran out of gas, and then we did this, and then we forgot the booster cables, and then we did this, and we kept having to run up to those. It was so. an election year. It was an election year. The, the sun, freaking half moon. The stars with the Sagittarius or something or other. Uh, Blue Dog 35, unsubbed. I remember unsubbed used to be like the biggest thing people would comment. It's like, glad, thanks for letting us know. We don't care because, you know, 500 other people subbed today, so. Anyways, unsub. Fuck you guys for misleading people with the clickbait thumbnail. God, you good. <laughs> I don't know if you know the internet now, but it's all fake. It's all clickbait. <laughs> At least with my videos, like 99% of them are actually real. Yeah, we do some clickbait stuff, but I screenshot all those thumbnails from the video. I didn't just Photoshop a bunch of stuff like, and then put a car up in the air and some flames and a naked girl and. Like, you know how many people take my thumbnails and put it on their videos now? It's so annoying. But this guy thinks strippers really like him, too. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. We're losing light. What time is it? 4.11. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a clock right there. Yeah, give it I'm using my watch. Steven Homer, throw your camera in there and don't get a new one after. Really counterproductive. That would be a waste of a camera then. Really counterproductive. I can't believe you would do something like that to a camera. Yeah, perfectly good camera. There's directors out there that need cameras. Yeah. Steven. Poor people need cameras. Stephen Homer. Who do you think you Steven are? Homer. You didn't even get a thumbs up. Get out of here. Mr. Soul Killer 56. Where do people come up with these names? It's Calvin's and Killing Souls. I hope you crash and break two of your legs, not three of them, just two of your legs. Because you don't know how to ride. Just leave that third one alone. I've been riding since I was six years old, kid. I know how to ride. Uh, I'm not the fastest guy in the world, but I've definitely done a lot bigger jumps than the Just general population. The he rides, and then the next day he rides. And yeah. The next day he rides again. I'd say as hell. I once jumped a jump so big I broke my back and almost died. So Me too. I can see it right now. Oh yeah, we both broke our backs on my track. Same place. Oh, well, can't win them all. Jesse Owen, how? I don't know what I was trying to, I thought you said ass. All they have in Canada is fucking goose. Who the fucks comes to can from Canada? Justin Bieber, you can have him back. We don't want him in the US anymore. Yeah. This has got something against Justin Bieber. Yeah, this is, this it is turned not to, That turned to Beeb Town real yeah. quick in that. Justin Bieber actually is from Stratford, and Stratford is actually 25 minutes from here. So we've never met him, but a lot of my. Old friends used to babysit him, so. Yeah. And no one really likes him around here, too. You know, the kid, he's, he's done well, but obviously, you know. He's a guy. I'm sure if we were that big, we'd have just as much hate, too. He's a guy with some hair. Jumping minivans. Yeah, has he ever jumped a minivan? Yeah. But See the hate comments on that. Sick. Uh, he was actually thinking about buying this place, too. But then, then, he, then he didn't. <laughs> he wanted to move to Puss Lynch instead. He bought a house in Puss Lynch. Uh, I have nothing against Puss Lynch or however you say it. It's over there. Fukuka NSA. I hope, I only hope airbags, I only hope airbag broke your stupid American neck. Regards from Europe. Still being polite. Well, yeah. Regards. Very European uh, thing. I've actually, I've only had a couple airbags go off and they didn't actually hit me. One was a side airbag and I was leaning over. And when an airbag goes off, they're very loud. I'm sure some of you have been in accidents and they're like a gunshot and your ears are ringing after, but. Break your stupid American. Man. Yeah, I'm pretty Good sure. Good thing we got Canadian Nexus back up. Good thing airbags are supposed to protect you from that. Next. But we got free healthcare, so. Next. Well, we pay a lot of money. Yeah, so we still got free healthcare. Yeah. You don't have a two hundred thousand dollar hospital bill. Yeah, like Weston Pike's got right now. Ooh. Is that what he had? He's in Europe. It's gonna cost him like a hundred grand to fly him over here. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Snipezilla sixty nine. Nice. Nailed Your it. daddy sure has a nice house, truck, and quad for you to be fucking around with when you have nothing to do since you don't have to work for a living. First of all, Rob drives a Kia. <laughs> yeah. Crossover SUV. It's turbocharged. Because, <laughs> like, he's got to get to the dad things fast. 
Um, yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen anyone that owns a quad or dirt bike or anything, but they definitely fuck around on it a lot harder than I do. And they this don't film my favorite thing. Like, you think that, like, Hollywood actors don't work? Like, it's not work? It's all work. Like, everything work. Your you whole life's work. If it's something that you have to keep doing to keep making money, it's work. It's work. Yeah. And it's not like a nine to five for me. I literally get emails Sunday at midnight, 24/7. like 24 seven. Yeah, Google that. Get on while you're on YouTube yeah. here. And it's look how much nightmare lives these YouTubers have to take breaks from because it's. Oh, but we have it so easy because all we get to do is have fun. Because a lot of nope. people out there's jobs are super more meaningless and doing nothing all day. Yeah, a lot of when you have a normal job, you just go home after and then go back to work the next day. You don't have to think about it. All I think about is YouTube and how to make it better and how to, you know, entertain you guys tomorrow. So, whatever. Thanks, Snipes. Kawasaki, uh, quads are for pussies who are too afraid to ride a dirt bike. Again. Go hit jumps on both. See, <laughs> it's see which scary one takes on, more balls. It's scary on a quad, and you definitely have a lot less give on a quad, that's for sure. I definitely can't do half the stupid shit on a quad that I do on my dirt bike. Uh, yeah, that was four years ago when I was still doing quad things, when I was apparently gay for riding quads. Uh, ride Red 250, and we all hate you, douchebag. That feels like that was the ending to a really long letter. Yeah. P.S. We all hate you, douchebag. He's talking for everyone Good else. Night. Thanks. He's putting words yeah. in your mouth, people. X Mod Driver 16, Captain Douchebag. This is Captain. Yeah, yeah he's still a captain. Get your, At least two, you got get the your 2002 Suburban out of here. Yeah, with your LED light bar. Oh, Dick Wallace. All right, thanks. I'm confused as to why this blowhard. I've never, I haven't heard that one. We call him blowhard. Blowhard has his panties in a knot for no apparent reason. You're, you're just another douchebag to back your exposed anus up to him. Your name's Dick. Yeah. I need more <laughs> context here. Uh, yeah, come, come on back, Dick Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. That was six years ago. He's Comment. probably gone now. Bass squirrel, bass squirrel, bass squirrel. You're a douchebag. He was just joking. Don't take the web so seriously, bruh. No response. First of all, bass squirrel's a great DJ name. <laughs> if you're a DJ bass squirrel, give it up. Six years ago, he's probably OD by now. We need to hear it from him. Oh, that was the end. That was the end. Well, um, yeah. Basically, you suck and we all know. I suck. I'm stupid. I'm a douchebag. Kill myself. I love internet comments. Like, Nothing even though I don't get a lot of hate compared to some people and my comments aren't as aggressive, I've gone on the, like, you know, bigger channels with over a million and read some of that hate and oh my god. Those people get, like, death, death threats with plans. <laughs> yeah, like, here's a detailed plan. I've had a couple death threats before, but like, it's nothing to be afraid of because I've gone and looked at these people's profiles and they weigh like 90 pounds and they're 100% on meth. So, yeah. Anyways, easy. You, you just throw some meth. Yeah. You get distracted. You just, you don't even need to run a lot. <laughs> you probably just break from the Yeah. Uh, anyways, we are very grateful for you guys that stick around and love our videos and are entertained by our videos. And even you haters too, because every time you come back to hate, it's as another click. Yeah. It's Psych. Just, you know, adds on to the Psych. Check. You're making so, them money too. Suck us. Yeah, thank you. So if you guys have any suggestions for videos, you know, we're always down to do them. We do 365 videos a year. Or for hate, pick apart the haters' comments, give them some grammar lessons, yeah. teach go, them new words. Go stuff. on comments and write a response. I love when people get into a full response section because I'll read all those. And like, sometimes I like to throw a little in there too, or I just get Brett to do it because he always has a better uh, comment than I do. But How many uh, fake accounts do I have? You'll never know. You'll never know. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Sorry the video was so long. I hoped most of you made it to the end. I'm sure most of you didn't, but uh, thank you to those who uh, put it up on their big screen and watched all night. promo code you give me for the end? <laughs> you want a promo code? I don't know. I feel like they deserve it. <laughs> There's promo codes in the, in the um, 
description. And I don't make commission off those promo codes. I'm just, those are my sponsors and I want you guys obviously to know, a lot of people want to know the brands we wear, right? And I want you guys to have a discount. So the discount codes are below. And yeah, so enjoy the videos. Um, hit up some playlists. Go make fun of Brett on his Instagram, Brett Hellyer. And uh, have a fantastic night. And leave leave some more comments. That last rollerblade post I did, I never lost more followers <laughs> at one time than that one. So I'm trying to get over. People don't like rollerblades. Yeah. Uh, we should read the hate on those. Just like get in there, people. Maybe next time we'll read other people's hate comments on their videos. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys again. Follow me, hate comments, but as long as you follow me. Have a fantastic night.